Did you all scan? Did you all enter into menti.com? I want everyone to enter into menti.com. Scan this or give the code as 5674-4810. Done. Around 35 students have joined. 70 students. It should be more than 150 because that's the class trend. How many of you are yet to scan or yet to enter into menti.com? No network. How much progress have you made in paper 3 preparation? Paper 3 is max stats logical reasoning. Yet to start, started, but yet to complete first round of studies. Completed ICI material and your coaching material, be it SS Academy or any other coaching institution material. You already gave mock test one or you attempted even two mock tests and your two rounds of revision is done. Whatever is applicable for you, just speak on that. Log in. 
to menti.com or not the that not i'm going ahead i'm starting off directly with logical reasoning the target before your lunch break is logical reasoning we'll complete off that and after the break we'll start off with statistics For most of the students, for my students, you are already familiar with all these slides. For those students who are seeing me for the first time, you might feel that other students are, uh, you know, a little better than you. It's not the case. They have already seen all these questions. So I'm starting off with coding, decoding first, and then I'll come back to number series. So I had given you an example of Arunab Goswami shouting on the channel regarding coding, decoding, left hand, right wing, etc. Right wing Atande is uh, this is BJP, left wing Atande is telling about uh, Congress, etc. So I told that whenever you cannot directly take someone's name, uh, like you are trying to speak about a girl in the class and you can't directly take her name, on that time what will you do? You will use the code words, correct? Which only your friends sitting in your bench can understand. So that's a classic example of coding decoding. Now, in coding decoding, there are totally four types of questions. First one is letter to letter coding, where one letter is converted into another letter. Second, letter to number coding. A letter is converted into number, like A is 1, B is 2, and so on. Third is letter to symbol coding. I hope my students can remember the example of C's which came in examination. The last one, the toughest part is mixed coding. What I want everyone to do as usual, in your margin, I want you to write from A to Z, 1 to 26. A to Z and 1 to 26, you know, heading as Jamatria chart. We call this as Jamatria chart. I want you all to write this in your notes. Doctor name, you know that someone is wondering. Welcome to CA Foundation class. This is coding, decoding, number series chapter of logical reasoning. If someone is looking at board to copy ABCD, congratulations, you are still in LKG. Jutu boy. Jutu boy. Done. Don't help your writing. Go ahead, write. Completed. Time to start with questions in that case. Here we go with first question. If Sauber is written as RLADQ, how is Lotus written in that code? All those students who have already attended my class, please keep quiet. Others can try. Option B. How did you get option B? O B E R. Sober is written as. So, this is the code R L A D Q. We call this as original term sober and we call this as result, whatever you see on the right hand side. So, from S, if you want R, you have to go one letter previous in the Samatria chart. Check the Samatria chart that you have written. One letter previous to S, one letter previous to O is it. One letter previous to B, A, B, correct? So, from B, if you want A, you have to go one letter behind. So, the pattern is minus one. After 
finishing this l o t u s lotus you can also do minus 1 for all these so it will be k n s p r so correct answer is option b i hope this is clear uh, i'll be little quick because this is marathon revision in case you are not following in the class if you feel that i'm little fast uh, the same things will be uploaded even on youtube day after tomorrow so you can go back refer to the sessions even then if you are facing difficulty in any chapter you can leave me a message on telegram i'll do the revision one hour video of that particular chapter and upload it separately on youtube understood so going ahead for second question in that question you refer to geometry or chart in this question it is much the following that means do not refer to geometry or chart clue is there in the question itself you need to connect the letters table cloth is coded as xcm ran rxt how can hotel be coded hotel h is there in the last letter of table cloth which is t so h becomes t o is here o will become i as usual you are late 7:30 class 8:15 9 o'clock class 9:18 t will become x e will become a and l will become r So correct answer is T I X A R. Conclusion: In coding decoding, whenever it is letter to letter coding, you will get two types of questions. Either you can refer to geometry or chart, or it is match the following question, something like this, where you need not have to refer to A B C D. You can directly match the letter to the question as well. This was first type letter to letter coding. Going ahead for second one, which is letter to number coding. Park is coded as five three nine four. Shirt is coded as one seven six nine eight. Pandit is coded as five three two zero six eight. How will you code Nishad in that language? N is there in Pandit? D for Narayan. Right. T E A C E T. T stands for hash. E stands for asterisk. A is percentage. C is dollar. And E is asterisk. And this is the option D. If the answer is wrong, you need to get your eye tested. Asterisk. I can't say anything else. This was third time. Three times: letter to letter coding, letter to number coding, letter to symbol coding were very easy. The last time, mixed coding is little different. It is weird. So I'm going ahead for last type of question, which is mixed coding. Here is question number one. Yes, your students and my students will not answer. Reason is coded as 
5. Believe this coded as 7. What is the code number for government? Who told 9? Raise the hand. How did you get 9? Exactly. Good, good. So in reason, there are 6 letters. For 6 letters, the code is 5. In belief, there are 8 letters. For 8 letters, the code is 7. That means you are supposed to count number of letters in the word government. There are 10 letters. For 10, your code will become 9. So, correct option is option C. I hope this is clear. I cannot give you some explicit formula and say that you apply the formula, you will get out the answer in mixed coding. That does not happen. So, going ahead for next question. Again, Yesha students and my students, please don't answer. You are my student, right? You are doing it. Uh... Anyone who gets to know the logic, please raise the hand. Non Yesha students. <laughs> Good. He got the logic, so I'm explaining this to you. 54 plus 43. Stop talking, guys. 54 plus 43 has become 2. What you have to do? Two, when will you get the number 2? Only if it is 1 plus 1. So I should get number 1 from 54. 5 minus 4 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Similarly, 16 plus plus 51 should be equal to 10. So, 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 1 is 4. What is 6 plus 4? 10. So, applying the same logic. 62 plus 72. 6 minus 2 is 4. Five, uh, 7 minus 2 is 5. What is 4 plus 5? 9. So, option D is the answer. These two were my own questions, not there in ICI material. But there is one question frequently repeated both in CA and CS foundation exams, which is CSEET. And that question is this. In a certain code, 481 means sky is blue. 246 means CA is deep. 698 means C looks blue. What is the number for Blue. <laughs> so, what is the number for for blue and the Look at the solution. You need to match the words with the numbers. Now, 481, 246, 481, 246. Tell which number is common or which digit is common between them. Number 4 and number 4. So 4 is common. Now, sky is blue, sea is deep. Which word is common in between them? I can find east here. I can also find east here. So 4 stands for east. 4 means east. So, I did comparison of this with this. Now, let's compare 481 with 698. 481, 698. Which number or digit is common? 8. Number 8 is here. Number 8 is here. Next, sky is blue. Sea looks blue. What is common? Blue and blue. So, I got blue as number 8. And that's the question. What is the code for number blue? Now, every third examination, this kind of question has been repeated in exam. Last sentence, there was no question. Previous to that, there's no question from this. So, in your attempt, there's high chance of getting a question with this format. Okay? If you did not understand, you can come to me during the break time. I'll give you a different question and we'll solve this. Okay? So, this was regarding mixed coding. So, coding decoding is done. I'm going ahead for second part of the chapter, which is odd man out.
you might remember me giving these examples. I would have asked, what is odd man out in first case? Third one, because there is no leaf. Here, first one, because there is no dot on that uh, ladybug. For third one, there is no number dial in the fourth. And for the last one, there are no ticks in second one. So we were uh, doing all these things in our school days, in third and fourth standard, in drawing or coloring class, correct? Apply the same logic for CA foundation classes that become odd man out. So I gave you the example of this question in the class January, May, July, and November. Why November? 30 days. I might have also told that some students of the class would have told that January ends with Y, May ends with Y, July ends with Y. November is not November. It does not end with Y, so that's the odd man out. No. January, May and July have 31 days, whereas November has only 30 days in a month. So that's why it is odd man out. What is second one? Second answer. Looking at the number itself, you can make out whether it's a perfect square or not. If it is a perfect square, 4 square, 16, 5 square, 25, 6 square, 36, 62 is not a perfect square. So that is odd man out. 144 is 12 square, 14 square and 15 square. So these were two examples. Now going ahead for third example. All other numbers are multiples of 3. Whereas 26 is not a multiple of 3. So that's why it is odd man out. And the last one. 23 is a non number, all other numbers are even number. I might have also clarified that in one of the bats, a student had asked me, ma'am, in number 14, 1 is odd number, 4 is even number. How did you call all these numbers as even number? That's not how you look at it. Even number means you have to just look at the last or the unit place digit. You will ignore the other numbers, all right? So, this was regarding odd man out. I'll come to the questions sometime later. Let's go ahead with last part of the chapter, which is number series. Now, please take out your calculators. Is there any super human in the class who did not get the calculator and will do the calculations in the mind? So we completed coding, decoding, we completed odd man out concepts. We are in last one, which is series. In that, first part is number series. Have a look. There can be three kinds of questions. They can be in ascending order. If it is in ascending order, you will do addition or multiplication like 2, 4, 16. What is 16 square? Question mark. So, how will you do that? 256 square. So, this is addition or multiplication ascending order. When the numbers are increasing, you know that either you have to multiply or you have to add in order to get the next number. Second one is descending order where the numbers are constantly decreasing like 18, 15, question mark, 9, 6, 3. How did you get 12? Minus 3. 18 minus 3. 15 minus 3 should be 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, 6. Minus 3 and minus 3. So this was descending order the second time. The third time, again, the weird type of questions comes here in mixed order. Whenever I start with the questions, I'll go ahead with that. So here you go, give the heading in your notes as ascending order and take down this question. I have to record. That is seven or thirty six? Thirty seven. How did you get thirty seven? Plus four plus three plus four plus three plus four. So this is known as pattern. You identified pattern as plus 4 plus 3 and your answer is 37. 
So this was a question from ascending order addition series. Let's go ahead for second question, which is from Atalina. Second one, one, three, twelve, sixteen question mark. How did you get 360? 1 into 3 is 3 into 4 is 12 into 5 is 16 into 6 is 360. So look at the pattern into 3, into 4, into 5, into 6. If I have to continue, into 7, into 8, and so on. So your answer is 360. Ma'am, how did you get to know that for this question we have to multiply, for the previous question we have to add? Let's just compare the previous question. In previous question, look at the difference between two numbers. It's just constant and the difference is very less. It's not very huge. Whereas in the second question that I did just now, you can see that number one became number three, which became 12, which became 16, which became 360. So when the number is increasing in this manner, which is compounding effect, we have to use multiplication. Okay. With that note, I'm giving you three questions. Now I want everyone to try. Question number. I want everyone to try question number three and question number four. Three and four. Just try question number three and four. Three and four. Only third and fourth. Whose phone is that? <laughs> you know what? If I snatch that phone, I'll not hand over it to Vinita ma'am. I'll just message all the girls in your contact list. This is for third question. And fourth one. 1, 2, 6, 15, 31, 56, 92, question mark. How did you get that? Yes. Difference between them is plus 1, plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 plus 16 is 31. Plus 25 is 56. Look at these numbers in the pattern 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. These are perfect squares. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. So 6 square is 36. So next will be 7 square, 49. What is 92 plus 49? So your answer is 141. I hope addition series is clear to everyone where you are trying to find the next number by adding. Let's go ahead for next type of questions which is multiplication. I want everyone to try. Question number one and question number five. Question number one and question number five. One 
than five. What's that five? Two bars. Okay, two bars. Two bars only. Three seconds and two bars. Tulsi, where is Bhutan? That is the boy. Tulsi Ram. First one, one, nine, twenty five, forty nine, eighty one, one twenty one. Aren't these numbers perfect squares like one square, three square, five square, seven square, nine square, eleven square, thirteen square? So your answer is one sixty nine. Odd number square. And I asked you to do fifth one, 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 two, six, twenty-four, one, twenty, question mark. One into one, into two, into three, into four, into five, into six. So, one, twenty, into six, seven, twenty. So, that was regarding multiplication series. Going ahead with the weird questions, which is mixed order questions. Give the heading as mixed order. Thirty-four, eighteen, ten, six, four. Question mark. I think this is descending order, not mixed order. It is descending order. Three na two na. <laughs> Thirty-four became eighteen, which became ten, six, and four. Minus two, minus four, minus eight, minus sixteen. So look at these numbers: sixteen divided by two is eight divided by two, four divided by two, two. Two divided by two is one. So four minus one, your answer is three. In case twenty-five percent of the class when they do this question for the first time, will tell the answer as two. The youngest three and all are already asking that. That is why our answer is two. I hope this is clear. Let's go for next question. This was subtraction series. And you can see that the difference between the numbers is small. So the dots the difference is not. Whereas in the next one, seven twenty became one twenty. So there is sudden decrease, huge decrease. That means there is division. Seven twenty, one twenty, twenty four, six two one question mark. Thank you. Divided by six. Seven twenty divided by six is one twenty. Divided by five twenty four. Divided by four is six. Six divided by three is two. Two divided by two is one. One divided by one. Your answer is one. <laughs> Maths book and calculator both committed suicide. So I'll give you a few questions, four questions in a row. When you are done with all four questions, raise the hand. This is from descending order. You can either do subtraction or division. Four questions are there on the screen.
Renuka sitting alone, or is there anyone from your college along with you? Mala is doing it. Yeah, there is space here. If you want, you can sit with your friends. Or even Bhavna is there. Bhavna Shreya, fine. You can sit next to Ruchi, one of you. Yeah. You are out of syllabus today. <laughs> Also for first question, how did you get to 16 minus 5, 11, minus 4, 7, minus 3, 4, minus 2 is 2. So look at the pattern, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. And second one, 64 divided by 2, 32 divided by 2, 16 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2, 2. Answer for this question, 8 plus. This is a question from your ICI material. I believe every student in the class might be familiar with the question. It is 120 minus 21, 99. Minus 19, 80. Minus 17 is 63. Minus 15, 48. Minus 13, 35. What are we doing? We are subtracting all numbers but in reverse order. 21, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, and so on. In the reverse order, you are subtracting all numbers. So, answer is 80, option A. And also for 20th question from. 48. What is the divided by 6, 960, divided by 5, 192, divided by 4, 48. Option D, divided by 3, 16, divided by 2, 8. So, correct answer is option B. How many students got all four answers correctly? Raise the hand. Hands down. These were very easy questions. Going ahead for the last type of question, which is mixed order question. Here you go with first one. You are heading as mixed order. Take down the question. 200, 165, 148, 170, 104, question mark. Oh. 200 minus 35 is 165. Minus 17 is 148. Minus 31 is 117. Minus 13 is 104. Ma'am, how to establish the pattern now? Just take 35, alternate term 31. Similarly, 17, alternate term 30. Observe that difference between alternate terms is 4. Difference between alternate terms is 4. So, this is second order difference. 
So in that case, next term, yeah, I need to find difference between 31. 31 minus 4. 27. So minus 27 for 104 will be 77. This is method number 1 of doing the answer. Anyone in the class who got a different method? Yes, dear, both sir. No, no, it's the same one. It's the same one. Anyone else with a different way of answering this question? Yes. Good, good. Um, Nanesh, I had actually told this. Another method. So this is method number one. If anyone wants to copy, can copy off quickly. There's one more method, which is method number two. 200 is 14 square plus 4. 165 is 169 minus 4, which is uh, 165. Next, 12 square plus 4, which is 144 plus 4. 11 square minus 4. 10 square plus 4. 9 square minus 4. 8 square plus 4. 7 square minus 4. So, this is how the pattern continues. So, answer for this question will be 9 square minus 4, which is 81 minus 4, 77. For every question in mixed order, there are minimum of two different ways in which you can try them. And you will get the same answer. No matter which of the way you try out. There are some questions like question number 26 onwards in your ICI material. Where there are three different ways of answering every question. Okay. Now, let's continue. Now, this was another method of answering the same question. We'll go ahead for next one. So, Kiladi, Nana, 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 you have to always start from third number. Third number is sum of previous two. That is 14 plus 17 is equal to 31. Next. 17 plus 31 is equal to 48. Next. 31 plus 48 is equal to 79. To verify whether this is correct or not, let's check for next one. 48 plus 79, you will get 127. So, some of previous two terms, this is known as Fibonacci series, where you need to add two previous terms. So, that's why you cannot establish any relation between first two numbers. This is known as Fibonacci series. Uh, this was actually removed from the syllabus in the year 1999. So, just like mathematic progression, geometry progression, harmonic progression, harmonic progression is not there in your syllabus. They even had a Fibonacci progression back then. So, that was uh, removed in the syllabus. I tell you, mixed coding, mixed order is done. So, that means it's time for the last part of the chapter, which is alphabet series. Alphabet series, I will directly give you a question. This is the question. You need to identify patterns. Some pattern. Raise the hand if you get to know the pattern. What pattern has to be filled in? Raise the hand and give. What is the pattern? Yes. <laughs> Double A, double B, triple A, triple B. So let's uh, fill that up. A, A, B, B. Three times A, three times B. 
2 times a, 2 times b, 3 times a, 3 times b. Now they have uh, given blank in this, blank here, blank here, next blank here, and the last blank here. What have I filled in the blanks? B, B, A, A, B. So first part, identify the pattern. Pattern for this question, A, B, B, triple A, triple B. Next, check what has been filled up in the blank. It is B, B, A, A, B. So among the four options, this will be the answer. B, B, A, A, B. No need to write down the question. Here you go with next one. Raise the hand and tell me the pattern. B, that's the pattern, correct. B, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, A, B. Now let's check where. You. Where are the blacks? One, two, three, four, and five. So you will consider B, B, A, A, B. Again, this is option C. So first identify the pattern. Go on repeating the pattern. Then check what is filled up in the blank space. Going ahead for next one, please raise the hand and tell me what is the pattern. TSP, TSP have to be repeated. TSP, 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 TSP. So I have written in the red color TSSP, which is option A. So first step, identify the pattern. Second step, identify what has to be filled up in the plan. Because everyone in the class had already done this, either from your ICI material or mock test paper, etc. From now on, because in usually Asha's classes, we print the material and give it to you. It is very easy. Hey, look at question number 1 to question number 10. I'll give you 10 minutes time. I can say like that and continue. But because I can't do that, I'm going to put the QR code for every chapter. You will scan the QR code. You will get the questions in your mobile phone. So for number series, you are for a third on the screen. Please catch this. Okay. Set of questions. Ten minutes time to solve those questions. Let them all scan the friends. Okay. 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 QR code on the name, where you can see the You need to scan on that. Google images, hope to all this scanning with the draw. Okay, okay. Ten minutes time. The time is nine fifty six. You have time till ten six.
I want everyone to complete within 10 minutes time. All the questions in that material are exam questions. Time up. Let's start. What is the answer for question number one? Correct answer is option D. TH is one group, NKS is another group. NKS, you have to do Adlapatni. So it will become SKS, TH. Similarly, stupid, STU is one group, PID is another group, PID will become TIP, and STU as it is. So correct answer is option D. Answer for second one. B is correct. For first letter, M has become L. But apart from that, you may group of two letters and do Adla Badli of each of them. So that will be P minus 1 O. Next, Adla Badli of all other letters. Correct answer is option B. Answer for third one. What's the reason? Zebra, giraffe, and horse are what we want us. There are studies that are starting on. You will keep giraffe in your house. Uh, 
change in direction. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Right. Please give the heading as direction sense test and copy this line. A person 
was 6 kilometers the means point number 1 if the question does not mention the starting direction if they just say that person goes 6 kilometers you always assume it to be north direction next he goes 6 kilometers in east this is 6 kilometers east then takes a left turn and goes 4 kilometers left to 4 then takes a left turn and again goes for 6 km. Remember that if this is 6, this also has to be 6. So starting and ending points will be parallel to each other. Now you have to be careful about the wordings mentioned in the last part of the sentence. If we just ask, find the direction he is. That means it will be west direction, the ending direction. But if they are asking you, find the direction he is as compared to the starting point. This is the starting point. This is the ending point. If a person has to move directly from starting to ending point, that means without doing this turn, 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 he has to go in north direction. Answer for this question will become north. I hope this is clear to everyone. If they ask, find the direction he is, then the answer will be west. As compared to starting point of Nala, your answer will become from starting. If you directly try to reach, then it will be so, going ahead for next one. No need to copy the question. A man starts from a point, walks 2 kilometers north, turns right, walks 2 kilometers, turns right again, and walks. Which direction has he going down? But they also as compared to the starting point, no. So that means your answer will be south. This is the starting point. A person starts from a point, walks 2 kilometers, then takes a right turn, that means east, and walks 2 kilometers, then takes a right turn, east and right. You have already written the change in directions, that will become south. Answer is south. Going ahead for next one. Evening time, please be careful. Where is the sun and where is the shadow? One evening, Rama and Ajay were talking to each other face to face. If shadow of Ajay was exactly to the right of Ajay, then which direction is Rama facing? How many students got the answer at south? Raise the hand. And down. How many got the answer at north? North and the yellow killed them at all. One evening. Evening time means sun is in west direction. So this is the west direction. Obviously, shadow will be in the east direction. Rama and Ajay are talking face to face. So that means one person is like this, one person is turning like this. I and you are talking to each other face to face. Now if shadow of Ajay was exactly to the right side of Ajay, tell me for this person, which is right and which is left, this will be right. This will be mm. This is right side. This is left side for a person who is facing towards north. And for this person who is facing towards south, this will be left side and this will be right side. They have told shadow of Ajay was exactly to the right side of Ajay. Right side of Ajay is the shadow. That means Ajay is facing towards north. So, which direction is Rama facing? Obviously, he is facing towards south direction. The answer for this question is south. Understood? So, we start from this point where there is shadow and then opposite person will become Rama.
We'll go for next question. A boy walks five kilometers west, take left turn, walks three kilometers. Again, turns 90 degree in anti clockwise direction and walks five kilometers. In which direction is he facing now?
Madhav has come. He is in this point now. Let's continue. He takes 180 degrees turn from this point. 180 degrees turn from this point. This is the point where his ending. And from this point, which is in red color, he took 270 degree turn in anti-clockwise direction. Whenever student sees anti-clockwise in the question, they get scared. Now, let's go back again. Look, this is the point at which the person is. From this, if I say clockwise direction, it will be 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and like this. This becomes clockwise, correct? Anti-clockwise direction will be ulta. This is anti-clockwise direction. So, if it is 4.30, now this is a clock. It is 4 o'clock. Clockwise will be 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. This movement is called as clockwise. Anti-clockwise movement means back to 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock and so on. Now, they are mentioning that this person from this point has moved in anti-clockwise direction point 1 and 270 degrees. Now, how to do 270 degrees when you do not have calculator or when you do not have protractor? Now, remember that complete 360 degrees turn in anti-clockwise direction would mean somewhere around this point back. 270 degrees. What is the difference between 270 and 360? That means 90 degrees should be difference. So, remember that when this person moves in anti-clockwise direction, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock, like this, there should be 90 degree difference and she has to come and end at this position. So, this becomes 270 degree. 90 more will make it back to 360. So, 270 degrees means which direction is this direction? Southwest direction. That's the answer. Southwest. He ended in this position. Southwest ending. So, answer is southwest. I have used different colored pens to indicate the directions. What's the answer for next one? 15. Perfect. If you actually go through ICM material, no, there is not even one question in which uh, measurement of angles or distance measurement, like that type of question is not there at all. But in every attempt, out of five questions from direction sense test, one question will be clockwise, anti-clockwise, one question will be angle measurement, one question will be distance measurement. So you will compulsorily get such kind of questions in exam. Look at the question what day Rama left. And bicycle 10 kilometers towards south. Took a right turn. South and right turn. Look at the board. Look at me. I'm turning towards north. Right side will be east. Now I'm turning towards south. Towards you. Right side will be in west direction. So a person is in south. Took a right turn means left turn. Went for 5 kilometers. Then took a right turn. That means north. Then again took a left turn and went for 10. So, starting point is here. Ending point is here. How many kilometers he has cycled, uh, cycled totally? So, that means if he is in end position and he has to reach back to his house, it will be back 10 plus 5, total 15 kilometers. And what's the answer for next one? Northeast is correct. There are four towns, P, Q, R, and T. Q is in southwest of P, R is in east of Q, and whenever they mention the word and, it refers to first person or first object mentioned in that sentence. In this sentence, first object is R. So, from R, southeast of P, R is southeast of P. So, R is in southeast from P. I get a proper triangle between P, Q and R. Now, they have mentioned T is in north of R. So, from R, draw a north line and this will be your T. In which direction is T located with respect to P? That means if a person directly starts moving from P and goes towards T, in which direction he has to go? Northeast direction. Remember, this is north, this is east. This direction is P to T. So, this direction will be northeast direction. What's the answer for next one? Five 
students A, B, C, D, E are staying in the same locality. Actually, this question is from seating arrangement. Seating arrangement and direction sense test are like symptoms. If you know direction sense test, it implies that you automatically know seating arrangement. These houses east of A. These houses east from A. Next. These houses north of C. From the C in the north direction is B's house. Next. These houses in which direction with respect to A's house? If it is given that C's house is in west of D. C's house is in west of D. So they are asking in which direction is D's house with respect to A. So if you directly start moving from A, in which direction you have to move in order to reach B? Southeast direction. Option B. I want everyone to mark that last question as important. High chances that this question is repeated in your exam. It's observed that every third attempt, a uh, question with respect to clock is coming into picture. Like clock is there, the clock falls down and it has to earn. Such kind of questions are asked at every third attempt. They didn't ask it last time. They didn't ask it even previous to that. So high chance of this question getting repeated in your exam. How many got the answer as East? Raise the hand. How many students got the answer as East? Hands down. In order to know what is the answer after the clock falls down, you should know what is the angle when it is a normal clock. So look, there is 3 o'clock, there is 6.45. I have drawn normal clock here. 3 p.m. and 6.45. Everyone in the class understands this thing when I draw 3 p.m. and when I draw 6.45. Now, look at our hand when the time is at 3 o'clock. Our hand is in which direction? Actual direction is east. The question mentions that this clock actually falls down and after falling down, the our hand is in west direction. So if the our hand is in west, that means the clock has fallen in this way. Now, how did you get to know? Second, then stop talking over there. How did you get to know that 6 goes up and 12 goes down? Always, the clock moves in clockwise direction, hands of the clock, correct? So, if this is 3, obviously, the next one should be 6, then 9, and then 12. It cannot move backwards after falling down. So, if this becomes west, obviously, minute hand is in south direction. So, this is first clue given in the question. Now, they are asking, what will happen to the minute hand? That means the longer hand when the time is 6.45. Now, this is the turned one. 3, 6, 9, 12. Same way you have to write 3, 6, 9, 12. After this, draw in the normal time 6.45. 6.45 at the end, right? Do not make this mistake. Six only there. Nine only there. I have seen many students at CA foundation level. 645 means you will draw our hand like this, minute hand like this. Have you ever in life seen 645 in this format? 645 means our hand should be moving towards southern. Anything after 630, our hand will be more towards southern, less towards six. So that means you have to move our hand towards southern. The minute hand will show 9 or which means 45 minutes. Now, this is the way 645 actual will be. Now, because the clock has fallen down, 3, 6, 9 and 12, this is the minute hand which is pointing towards 9 and our hand is pointing towards 7. Now, in which direction is the minute hand here? I have highlighted it. East direction. That's the answer. Every question till date. Which, with respect to clock, 90% of the students don't answer it in examination hall because they run short of time. They'll keep this at the end and then in the end they cannot solve it at all. They'll get scared. So practice more of clock related questions before going to examination hall. Please uh, draw the solution in your notes and then you can take a break. The time is 11.06. I will restart at 11.25. 
I'll restart at 11.25. Oh, half an hour break. One minute. If I leave you at 9 o'clock in the night, I'll give you half an hour break. Login to Venti.com. Your code is there on the screen. Five four six seven seven six one nine. Please give your original name. Tiger baby, Allah bera na Fifty more players are little to win. There are one or three out of now. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. Ready for me? Let us try and let us play. Shift it from there to here. Let's start. Your host, Mission One. First question. Rahul puts his time fields on the table in such a way that 6 p.m. Our hand points towards north. In which direction is the minute hand when the time is 9.15? If you cannot see in your phone, then the question is left on the screen. Code is five four six seven seven six one nine. Hundred and two students are third. Twenty seconds left. Please close the door. And the correct answer for this question is option. 
ऑप्शन डी question is there on your screen you can look at the board and answer starting from point x giant walk 15 meters west turn left walk 20 meters again turn left walk 15 direction is giant from x giant last is going to And the correct answer for this question is option A, 32 meters of south direction. Going ahead for next question. Who is TV? <laughs> Going ahead for the third question. Question is there on your screen. Mark this question as important. South east becomes north. North east becomes west. What will west become? Close the door. हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट हेव आंसर टिल नाउ फोर्टी सेकेंड लेफ्ट Twenty seconds left, and the correct answer for this question is option C, Southeast. We have done this question in the class, but anyways, because it's important for exam, I'm doing it again. Look at the board. Southeast becomes north. Now, for this, you should know the original directions first. north east south west 
This is southeast. They have told in the changed directions south, southwest, southeast becomes north and the Helidara. Southeast becomes north. Okay. Southeast, southeast becomes north. So obviously opposite direction is south. So that means right side is east. This will be west. And they have also told northeast becomes west. This is northeast. Northeast becomes west. So the question is, what will west become? Original west is here. So this is between south and east. So obviously this becomes southeast. So correct answer is option C. Going ahead for next one, let's look at score of leadership board. Who is Lakshman? <laughs> Who is Tanu? Tanu? Tanu Cha. Last but one question. A man walks five kilometers towards south, turns right. South and right will be ulta. After walking three kilometers, he turns towards left and walks for five. Now, in which direction is he from the starting point? Thirty seconds left. Let me start the diagram. Man walks five kilometers towards south. South five kilometers. Then he turns towards right. South and right will be Milta. Walks for three and then turns towards left and walks for five kilometers. So the question is, in which direction is he? After three kilometers, he turns towards left. So he's in east and then left or right. So in which direction is he from the starting point? Starting point is here. From the starting point, which direction? Southwest direction. The correct answer is option D. So going ahead for last question from direction sense test. Y is east of X, which is north of Z, P is south of Z. In which direction of Y is P? That means you start from Y, reach towards P. So which direction is it? Please close the window. You are not supposed to keep the windows open because AC is running. Close the window, last bench. Forty five seconds left. Twenty five seconds left.
X is Z. Our trigonal row is since a down in the center. A and B are at the ends. R is sitting on the left of A. Who is sitting on the right of B? Remember, there are six persons in this question. Yeah. 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 There are six persons. Hello, ma'am. Please get up. Vinita ma'am is here. Okay. So let's start with this question. A, P, R, X, and Z are sitting in a straight line. X and Z are in the center. X and Z. A and P are at the ends. Now they have not mentioned whether A is in left side or P is in left side. R is sitting left of A. Obviously, R comes to the left of A. A will not be there in the end. In which case, it has to be P in this corner, A in this corner, so that R can come to the left side of A. Who is to the right side of P? Now, you might say it is S, but remember there are six persons mentioned in the question. That means one missing person, X, has to be put here. Because X and Z are in the middle. So that means who is in the right side of P? Answer is X. This is first type of arrangement known as straight line or linear arrangement. Let's go ahead for the second one, which is double row arrangement. Sorry, circular arrangements. In circular arrangements, please be careful whether the persons are sitting towards the center of the circle or they are facing away from the center. Usually, 99% of the cases, if the table is here in the center and you are sitting on the dining table, obviously everyone will face towards the center. It's not possible that dining table is here and you all will turn away from the center. Correct? So, usually 90% of the cases you face towards the center of the circle. Only when playing musical chair, that time you are facing away from the center because you are running outside. So, let's look at the question. Please be careful about clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. You know 12, 3, 6 and 9. So, for this 3 o'clock, clockwise will be towards 6. Anti-clockwise will be towards 12. For 6 o'clock, clockwise will be towards 9. Anti-clockwise will be towards 3. So, I cannot say that every time it's right or left. Please do not by heart. If it is 9, clockwise will be towards 12. Anti-clockwise will be towards 6. So, imagine yourself in the position of 12, 3, 6 and 9. Then calculate whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. Similarly, anti-clockwise means move in ulta direction. Suppose the person is Q and they are mentioning anti-clockwise direction. That means 3 o'clock back to 12 o'clock anti-clockwise will be towards P. With this note, let's start off with the questions. Here is your question 1. B. 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 Eight students A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are sitting in a circle facing the center. B is sitting 
between G and D. So B is between G and D. It is not necessary that you have to start from A at the top post. You could have also taken someone else, but your answer will remain same. No matter where is the position, answer will remain same. So B is between G and D. H is third to the left of B. Now, with respect to B, left side means it is towards D, E and H. Okay, they are facing towards center of the circle. When they are facing towards center of the circle, left side will be in this direction. H is third to the left. So, first to the left, second to the left, third to the left will be H. And H is and means it refers to first person mentioned in the sentence which is H. So, H is second to the right of A. So, with respect to A, this is right side. So, imagine I am in A's position facing towards south. For me, right side will be in this direction. So, that will be F and H respectively. First and second right. C is sitting between A and G. So, C sits between A and G. Whereas, B and E are not opposite to each other. So, obviously, if I cannot put E in this place, I can only put F which means one balance position here, E will occupy. Who is third to the left of A? So with respect to A, left direction will be towards C and like A, turning towards south. So for my left direction, it will be first, second, third. Third to the left of A will be B. Answer for the question is B. I hope this is clear to everyone. So you have to be careful with respect to every person right and left. Let's go ahead for next. I want everyone to answer. I have added one more condition that Prakash is on left of Lalit. <laughs> Who is sitting on the right of Prakash? You tell me your arrangement. So you are telling for right side or left side? Left side, okay. Look at the board. Lalit, Prakash, Deepa. Pankaj, Mukesh, Pritam. I told that Prakash is on left side of Lalit. I'm Lalit. I'm Lalit. My left side should be Prakash. In your arrangement, it is on the right side. So this arrangement is wrong. For Lalit, this becomes right and this arrangement is wrong. Anyone else who can tell me the arrangement? Topmost is Pritam, is it? Start from topmost. Deepak? Right or left? Left side, okay. Pritam? Prakash? 
there is this question taken from 2020 examination. Hexagonal arrangements. Hexagon means six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. The direction tells you that the seating arrangement is done. Six friends, PQ, R, and TU are sitting around hexagonal table, each at one corner and facing towards center. P is second to the left of U. Suppose I place U here. This is left direction. P is second to the left side. Q is neighbor of R and S. Q is neighbor of R and S. Who is left of P? P is second to the left of S. Which one is sitting? Opposite to P. Who is fourth from the left of Q? P. One, two, three, four. Answer is P. With this seating arrangement, explanation part comes to an end. Time to solve uh, examination questions. Take out your four. The QR code. Five minutes from now, your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one, and the time is up. Let's start. What is the answer for question one? Option A, Pari, that's correct. Look at the arrangement. Six persons are sitting in a circle facing the center. Parik is between Bablo and Narendra. So, Parik is between Bablo and Narendra. Ashok is between Chitra and Pankaj. Ashok is in the middle. Chitra and Pankaj are to the sides. Chitra is immediate left of Bablo. So, Bablo. Left direction will be Chitra. That means right direction will be Parik. Question is, who is on the immediate right of Pablo? Parik. Option A. Answer for second one. C. Fourth. C. Fourth place. That is correct. Anyone is copying the solution? Okay. Five persons are standing in a line. One of the two persons at the extreme ends is a professor. So, Either you can consider it as number one or as number five. I have taken it as number one. And the other end is businessman. An advocate is standing to the right side of the student. Obviously, 
professor and businessman position is fixed so i have three empty positions in the middle and they have told that advocate is in the right side of student so i still have one more position left which is fourth one author is to the left side of businessman so businessman is in the corner left side is author the question is counting from the left the author is at what place so that will be fourth place option c What's the answer for next one? Option A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Option A. Okay. Yeah. Five girls, G, H, I, J, K, are sitting in a row facing towards south, not necessarily in the same order. Remember, they are facing towards south. That means right and left has to be interchanged now. H is sitting between G and K. H is sitting between G and K. I is to the immediate right of K. I believe most of the students who have done mistake have missed out this part. Right side has to come in this direction. And they have mentioned I is immediate right of K. So K right side will be I. J is immediate left of G. G is immediate left is J. Which of the following is true? Option A, J is third to the left of K. So you start from K. First left is H, second left is G, third left is J. So option A is correct. Answer for next question. How many say it is option A? Next one. How many say it is option C? Just two students. Okay. A is C. A, B, C, D are playing cards. Obviously, playing cards means they are facing towards each other in the circle. A and B are partners. Remember, always partners sit opposite to each other whenever they are playing cards. A and B are partners. Obviously, that means C and D are partners. D is facing north. Facing north. So, D has to face north just like you are. That means C has to face towards south. So, in, if A faces towards west, then in who faces towards south? C. What's the answer for next one? Options given in the question are wrong. It has to be E, F, A. Yes, ma'am. Options given in the question are wrong. Option A has to be E, F, A. It is not just E and F. Let me read out the question for you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G are sitting in a row facing north. F is immediate right of E. F is immediate right of E. E is fourth to the right of G. First, second, third, fourth. So how many people occupied the, the position till now? Except one, everyone else will fit in this. So that one person can either come to the right side of F or he can come to the left side of G. But there is only one person left out. After I arrange one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Six people are here. One person is left out. C is neighbor of B and D. B, D, C have to come together. That means they will be in the middle. Person sitting to the third of, third to the left of D is at one of the ends. So third to the left of D is at one of the ends. So that means another person will go here and that is A. Who is to the right side of B? E, F. And A. This is the correct answer. Uh, if none of the above is there, then in that case, it will be none of the above. And the last one. Nobody got 33? How many students got 33? Raise the hand. Okay. Now, I will take a different question. Suppose I mention 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as A, B, C, D, E, F. I am speaking with respect to D. Tell me, counting from the top, what is rank of B? Second. 
coming back counting from the bottom and one two three four this will be five so when i ask you what is total number of students will you do two plus five and six or will you do two plus four total number of students are just six because you cannot consider b as both the second rank and the fifth rank you are giving two two places for one person which is wrong so either leave this out or leave this out so you can take five plus one or you can take two plus four i hope this point is clear now let's go to the question roman ranks seventh from the top and 26th from the bottom so when you are counting you cannot count seven plus 26 as the total you can count seven plus 25 as the total so total number of students will be 32 25 after him six before him and his the seventh one so seven plus 25 after him so total will be 32 so with this seating arrangement comes to an end time to play quiz then Go for menti.com. Ma'am, we are playing this quiz, right? Is it for time pass? No. Most of the quiz questions are picked from ICI, uh, something known as student journal. And in that student journal, they usually take one question in the examination. All your quiz questions are taken from that student journal ICI uh, left out. Okay. You know, scheme or seating arrangement. Seating alarm. The board is five. Four seven eight four seven one eight. How many of you are here to log in? Lakshmi, always. Yeah, let me know when you log in. Vinka, done. I'm starting the quiz. Here is your first question. It's there on the screen. A is sitting next to B. C next to D. B not next to E. E is on the left end. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. One. The time is up. Correct answer is option B. Between B and C. A is sitting next to B. C is sitting next to D. So obviously, A is sitting next to B. C is sitting next to D. 
he is not sitting next to e who is on the left hand e is on the left hand c is second position from the right from the right c is second a is right side of b a is to the right side of b and e that means b have to come here because a is in right of both a and c are sitting together so there is no one in between them what is a's position a is sitting between b and c which is option b let's go for second question but the score of leadership was Followed by Darshan, who is Sakura, who is Ajubai, Shreya, Nabeen, Durga, Sakkal, Shubash, and Ashtada, who is Durga? Vishra, we know this. Nabeen, no. Going ahead to the next question. Second question is there on your screen. PQR, STU are sitting in the circle. Rishikesh, I'll send you out. Subhash, turn towards board. Stop troubling girls there. Krishna Parmatma, yell good control would give in that yellow. Okay, huh? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, time is up. The correct answer for this question is only 33 students have answered. Correct answer is option A. Being second to the left of S, please listen to the question carefully. How many students are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, B is second to the left of S. Mark S. Second to the left is B. And B is neighbor of T and U. T, U. Next. S is not neighbor of T or R. So I have to put U here. S is not neighbor of T or R. Obviously, T will come here. R will come somewhere either here or here. I'm not sure where the R can be. Definitely not in this place. S is not neighbor of R or T. T is neighbor of Q and R. P is neighbor of Q and R, so I can place R here, so that P is neighbor of Q and R is satisfied. Now, which of the following is correct? Q is between P and S. Q is between P and S. This is correct, so option A is correct. Option C only, T is immediate right of B and the head diagram. P is left of B. This is Facing towards south. Let's go ahead for next one. That question was important. Who is Aju boy? I didn't know Going ahead for next one. What is A's correct position? Is 
It's there on the screen. What is A's current position? These are not options. This is full question. What is full question? This is full question, not four options. Giant and Vina, you know, Kitapati Marta is the Five, four, seven, eight, four, seven, one, eight. Five, four, seven, eight, four, seven, one, eight. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is Thank you. 
Father's father is grandfather, father's mother, grandmother, father's brother is uncle, father's sister is aunt, their children are cousins, wife of uncle is aunt, and husband of aunt is uncle. Same thing given for mothers now. Possible relationships. Grandfather's son. Or uncle. It could be father or uncle. But first preference is always given for father. Only if they mention that grandfather has two children, then you can bring an uncle into picture, not otherwise. Next, grandfather's only son and his father. Father's wife. Father's brother. Husband of father's sister. Husband of father's sister. Father, sister is aunt, aunt's husband is uncle. Next, uncle or aunt's child. Cousin, sister's husband. Sister's husband. Brother in law. Next, husband's brother.
what did I say? Whenever you have something like pointing to what someone or introducing, you always start the last part of the sentence. So who is the speaker of this question? Anand. We'll keep Anand here and let's start with the last part. His father's wife. Whose father's wife? Anand's father. Father's wife will be Anand's mother. Go back. This is Anand's mother. Only brother of mother. Mother's brother? Uncle. Now go back. This part of the sentence can be replaced with uncle now. Next. Son of uncle. Cousin. And who is this cousin? Akash. So how is Akash related to Anand? They both are cousins. So you need to reverse uncle from the last part of the sentence. Better. Pointing to Sagar in a photograph, Manjula said, Whatever is there in the next part, reverse will come from last part. Identify who is the speaker. Manjula said, Place Manjula and then start drawing the diagram. Mandula said, go from the last part of the sentence now. My grandfather. Whose grandfather? Mandula's grandfather. Grandfather. Next. Only son of grandfather. Who is the only son of grandfather? Father. Next. His brother's father. Whose brother? Sagar's brother. His son of grandfather. Sagar. Sagar has a brother. I don't know the name of the person. I'll name as X. Sagar's brother's father is only son of my grandfather. Means my father. Sagar's brother's father is my father. Sagar's brother's father and my father. Both are same. So obviously the Sagar's brother is uh, Anjula, Manjula's brother and father is Manjula's brother. So that means this person has three children. Manjula, X and Sagar. So how is Manjula related to Sagar's sister? Going ahead for next one. It's better. Pointing towards a girl in the picture, Sunita said, She is mother of Prenu, whose father is my son. How is Sunita related to the girl in the picture? <laughs> Pointing towards the girl in the picture. So there is a picture. Pointing towards the girl in the picture. So talking person, I Sunita said. Who said? Sunita said. She, this girl, is mother of Reno. Reno's father, whose father is Reno's father, is my son. This girl is mother, this person is father. Obviously, these two are married to each other. Sunita's son has a daughter, Reno. So, this lady will be Sunita's son's wife, daughter in law. But they have not asked who is this lady. They have asked who is Sunita. How is Sunita related to the girl in the picture? If this girl comes out of the picture, 
There are hardly four to five questions, so five minutes time. If you don't know question one, you can leave that. Do everything else apart from that. But for question one, try from option trading method. Correct. Five minutes time. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Let's start with the discussion. What's the answer for first question? For those students who do not know how to do uh, mathematical operations with it, plus in the question indicates father, minus is brother, percentage is wife, and into mark means mother. Now, they have given four options to you. From these four options, you have to identify M is maternal grandmother of T. Maternal grandmother means T. T is mother. Mother's mother. That has to be M. Which among these options will give you that answer? So I'll take from option A. In option A, they have mentioned M into N percentage is plus T. M into N means M is mother of N. M is mother of N. So this is how you do it. Next, N percentage is N is wife of X. N is wife. So that means X has to be husband. Next, X plus T. Plus means father. So X is father of T. X is father. N is mother. So this says for T, N is mother. M is grandmother. Maternal grandmother. So correct option is option A. Next one. Except for your brothers, both are male. R is father of Y, father male person. S is brother of T and maternal uncle of X. X is there, whose father is R. Now, he is married to T. So, obviously, what is T to R? T is wife. Next, R told to M. Mark this question as important. This question came in last attempts, not this time. Last attempts, mock this paper. So, R told to him as the girl I met at the beach was the youngest daughter of brother in law of my friend's mother. So, in this question, R has no role at all apart from telling something. So, you can forget R completely. Now, let's decode this. The girl I met at the beach was youngest daughter of brother-in-law of my friend's mother. How is the girl related to R's friend? So, M is not there, R is not there. R's friend comes into picture in this question. Let me decode this. My friend's mother. Whose friend's mother? R, R's friend, R's friend's mother. So, this is how you have to start from last part of the sentence. Next. Brother-in-law of my friend's mother. Brother-in-law means for mother, it is husband's brother. So, brother-in-law means it is our friend's uncle. Mother's brother-in-law will become our friend's uncle. Remember that. Next. Youngest daughter of uncle. Uncle's daughter will be equal to cousin. And this cousin is the same girl whom she met at the beach. So, cousin is that beach girl. How is the girl related to our friend? How is she related? She is the cousin. So, correct answer is option A. And the last question. A girl introduced a boy as the son of daughter or father of her uncle. Let's start from last. Her uncle. This is the girl. Her uncle will be brother or father's brother will be known as uncle. Next. 
father of uncle will be grandfather daughter of grandfather grandfather's daughter obviously i did not know whether the uncle is related through mother or father because they have mentioned daughter of grandfather i consider this as mother only next son of mother mother's son will become brother so boy is girl's brother that's the answer so with this even that relation comes to an end we'll just play the quiz and take the break Your code is there on the screen. Eight one six three one. One two seven. Eight one six three one two seven. Principal. Principal. So let me put inside your arm. How many of you are yet to log in? Only this one of the students are yet to log in. Let's start. Here is question number one. Ayo, is there on the screen? Question is there on my screen? There are seven members S T U B W X Y in the family. Among them, only three are female. S is married to B. You keep solving this. Because all the others are looking at the question. The jump code eight one six three one two seven. Twenty five seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the time is up. Everyone has voted. Correct answer is option B. This question is important, so I'm solving it. There are seven members. In a family, among them, only three are female. Is this married to B? Is this married to B? W is grandson of B. There is a 
there is preparation and then another preparation W is grandson made person. You is sister-in-law of Y who is unmarried. You is sister-in-law of female of Y. So I know that you is sister-in-law that means she is married to someone else. And who is that? Who is left out? S. P is not there. P is that person. So T is the male person. And I know that among these two, one is female. So this has to be female. There is no other option because there are three females. So one female will be here, second and third. Who among now? X is brother in law. Who is mother in law of you? X is brother in law S. X is brother in law S. Brother in law means male. Who is mother in law of you? X is brother in law of S. X is mother in law of you. So this is female person. X is female because X is mother in law of you. That's the meaning. Now, who among the following is father of W? W's father has to be T, which is option B. Let's go ahead for next one. Sukumar is in the lead, followed by I don't know who, Prathpal, Anusha. Who is Anusha Krishna? Uh, uh, last time, this morning, Bash. Okay. Status Vini? Status Vini? Shiba, who is Shiba? Shiba, Shiba. Darshan, Akshay, and Pratsuvan. Going ahead for second question is there on your screen. A, son of C, C and Q are sisters. That is mother of Q. P is son of Z. Which one of the following is correct? Wake her up. Good morning. Very good, Lord Sora. How are you? Tell me. Mumbai, me tell me. Thank you. 
this man's wife's brother okay so obviously these two are siblings that means this is man's father in law which means this lady is sister of father in law
models the average temperature or how much humidity is there in the weather conditions these details are collected after this for preparing emergency purposes also i am just ignoring all this you might remember seeing this video as well in the class where i had played that how statistics can be misled i mean uh, they will tell on the advertisement that you see this is regarding covid where people come and say that earlier they had uh, two days but after using covid they are not getting any two day at all because Yeah, but then. 
correct? And then we have uh, international source. I give the example of Priyanka Chopra. She is the uh, UNICEF ka ambassador. She goes to Africa, collects data regarding how many students have, how many children have malnutrition. She gives that information to UN. So all these are different sources of secondary data. Next. After you collect the data, you have to present the data. There are three ways in which presentation can be made. First one is textual presentation. The example is here. You have a very big paragraph like this. So this is the most boring method and we never recommend it. The second type, what we charted accountants use, balance sheet, statement of PNL. This is tableau of presentation. In tableau of presentation, we present the data in the form of rows and columns of a table. Enter last bench, please stand. Lick it and grant. Get up. So we present the data in the form of rows and columns of a table that is known as table of presentation. Who are we? Chartered accountants. What we do will be called as the best. So table of presentation is the best method of data presentation. The last type of data presentation is this pictorial presentation or graphical presentation. Now in this we have, I'll come back to these things from back later on. First one is line chart. This is an example of simple line chart where year on year data can be presented in the form of a line. Next one is ratio chart. Whenever there is wide range of fluctuation, we use ratio chart or logarithmic chart. Now this is second type of line chart. Third one is, I gave this example also, this is simple line chart. Third one, this is known as multiple line chart because I have information regarding different cities. And the fourth one is multiple axis line chart. Multiple axis line chart will be used when different units of measurement are there. Like this is temperature, this is error rate, this is load, this is power. We use different units of measurement for all of these. So this will be multiple axis line chart. So what are the four types of line chart? Simple line chart. Second one, uh, ratio or logarithmic chart whenever there is wide range of fluctuation. Multiple line chart and multiple axis line chart. Next, whenever different units of measurement is there, multiple axis, same unit of measurement but for different uh, variety of things, then it is multiple line. After this, we have bar chart. Bar chart is almost similar to histogram, but that is different, this is different. Here you can observe that there is space in between the bars. So this is a simple bar chart that you can see on the screen. Now this is group bar chart actually. The next type is pie chart. Whenever a data can be divided to different sectors. Like if I take entire Karnataka and if I try to divide Karnataka into where Congress has come, where BJP has come, I can divide this in the form of sector. So that sectoral presentation is also known as pie chart, where the entire degree is 360 degree. So these were the three types of diagrammatic representation, line chart, bar chart and pie chart. Uh, almost in every alternate exam, a question from line, a pie chart has been asked. After this, we go for graphical representation. In graphical representation, the first one is histogram. You can clearly see what's the difference between histogram and bar graph. In bar graph, there is gap between things, whereas in histogram, this is frequency distribution, what we are depicting. So, I cannot divide it as 0 to 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 to 12. So frequencies have been depicted. Now from histogram, I can identify which is the highest frequency. This is going to give me what? So more of the data can be obtained from histogram. This is point number one. After this, we go for frequency polygon. If I take histogram and I depict the midpoint, I just draw in all those midpoints, I get a close figure. This close figure is known as frequency polygon. Now, frequency polygon and histogram, both of them help us to identify more, but we use histogram more rather than frequency polygon. The third type is ogive. In ogive, we have two types. This is less than and this is greater than. The point of intersection between less than and greater than ogive is known as median. So median of the distribution can be obtained. Man, what if they don't give more than ogive, they give only less than ogive? Even then you can divide that line into two parts. So the midpoint of that line is going to give you median. Similarly, if I have only less than ogive, I can divide it into 
heterogeneous quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So all the partition values can be obtained from ogive. This was next point, and the last point of the chapter is with respect to frequency curve. In frequency curve, what is this curve known as? First one. Self-shaped curve of normal distribution. What is this known as? J-shaped curve. What is the example for J-shaped curve? I told the traffic in the Sishadri Puram between morning 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. 6 a.m. traffic is very less. There are only dogs on the road. 9 a.m. the traffic is at peak because everyone is going to their office or school. So this is J-shaped curve. Next one is U-shaped curve. Traffic between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. 9 a.m. traffic is high. After that, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12, 1, 2, everyone is there inside the building. Again at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, they come out. So this is U-shaped curve, another type of frequency curve. I'm just showing you different types of frequency curve. And the last one is, uh, how is the COVID wave? First it raised, went down. Again it raised, went down. Again it raised. This is known as mixed curve. So there are totally four types of frequency curves. Okay. Now, I missed out one point, which is in uh, tabular representation regarding this. Tell me, what's the difference between this and this? What do you call this as? This is inclusive and this is exclusive. We only use exclusive distribution for calculation, only for arithmetic mean. Be it inclusive, be it exclusive, there is no difference at all. So, for arithmetic mean, you need not have to convert the data from inclusive to exclusive. But for all other questions, you have to compulsorily convert them into exclusive distribution. What is meant by exclusive distribution? Suppose I have 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29. And someone in the class got 9.5. Where will I put? Here it is 9. Here it is 10 onwards. 9.5 falls in the middle. I can't depict it. So, for that reason, I have to convert this into exclusive. How to convert? This will become minus 0 0.5 to 9.5, 9.5 to 19.5, 19.5 to 29.5. You can observe 0 has become minus 0 0.5. So, it has decreased. This is known as lower class limit. This is known as lower class boundary. What is better, lower class limit or lower class boundary? Lower class boundary is better. Remember that lower class limit minus something will give you lower class boundary. Similarly, 9 has become 9.5. That means you are adding some number. So, upper class boundary will be upper class limit plus something. What is the something? D divided by 2. The difference between these two numbers, step by the sign is 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. That is what I have added and subtracted from these two. Difference divided by 2. So, this was one discussion. Another discussion is regarding class mid mark. Now, suppose I give you data 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. How do you calculate x values? Isn't it 5, 15, 25? This x value is known as class mid value. Class mid value is obtained by highest minus lower plus lowest divided by 2. So it's the middlemost or the median value of that class. This represents the class. And that is known as class mid value. Apart from this, I think this is the realistic actual data taken from Hindu newspaper. In which you can see, I wanted to highlight regarding this point. You can see that heart attack case before COVID was 8,000, 5,000, 5,000. But the minute COVID came, this is just half year data from January to June. You can see that the cases have become 17,880 and the entire year of 2021 saw heart attack cases of 30,000 or it was 5,000 previous year, it became 30,000. So, whenever we have to compare data like this, we use statistics. So, this is end of chapter number one. So, it's time to mark all the answers of chapter number one. I want everyone to download from the QR code and save.
enable your cell phones. I have put a lot of effort to prepare the material that you are going to see now. This material has collection of previous year exam questions, mock test papers, ICR material, abstract, etc. Party, party. Uh, it's not in. Oh, dear, I just check. How is it now? Hello, hello, hello. The problem is, as uh, I give them something to write, they start speaking. And I have to shout on that time. Is it happening? Kim advertisement Madi Barate. Kim advertisement or something like that. Try again. Try again. You will get the material. Just download that material immediately because this QR code is valid just for one day. Download the material and save that material in your cell phone. Use it. No, you just have to download it. Download button in your lap, right hand side top corner, press on download button. It's of 19 pages, that's correct. I want everyone to open start. Yeah, statistical description of data in advance. You might have received this material. You might have received this material. Just save it. It has full prepares. How you can connect to me after today's class? Telegram, Instagram, YouTube. Just take the screenshot of this. Scan it. You can connect to me immediately. I have given previous year exam analysis of all the chapters. In that, you can observe statistical description of data on an average in score summit marks. Central tendency discussion is score 12 marks. First part is math magic. Second part is status thought. In status thought, you have central tendency discussion. Correlation analysis, regression analysis, index number, probability, mother statistical description of data, and show you the normal QR from which you can download. Did you all save this? No notes. You just have to press on download button. Right hand side corner and you download on the hub with it with your style. It will take some time because the file is huge. Trying to scan the QR code. This has questions of statistical description of data. Please skip the advertisement. All chapters. Except statistical description and probability, all other chapters are there. Statistical description. This is probability. Yeah. 
think we should yeah.
Multiple axis line chart is considered when dash. Option A, B, C, D, what's the answer? Very important words in the good time, also. If there are more than one time series and more than one unit of measurement, so this option D. Next, sweetness of it, sweetness is attribute because you cannot give a number to it, it's an attribute. Most commonly used distribution is bell shape because this is normal distribution. Next, last bench over there, you will get up again. So stop talking. Varsha and your students here, please stop discussing. Next, from histogram, one cannot compute the approximate value of dash. Character deviation. Remember that normal distribution. Mean major mode are equal. I know that from histogram I can easily obtain more. Mode is equal to median is equal to mean in most of the distributions. So that's why it's only standard deviation that I cannot easily identify. Next one. Along the road, there are five buildings. One, two, three, four, five. Number of people residing in each building is available. A bus stop has to be set up near one of the buildings so that total distance walked by the residents to the bus stop from their building must be kept at minimum. One must consider dash to find the position of the bus stop. It's like five buildings, one, two, three, four, five are there, in which a bus stop has to be created such that it has to give minimum distance. Now, if I consider one, two, three, four, five, and if I create a bus stop here in front of building number five, building number one person has to walk a long distance. I should not do that. So it has to be ideally in the middlemost position so that distance for him, distance for him, both of them should be equal. So for this, if I'm considering the middlemost value, that is known as median. So answer is median. Answer for next question. Which of the following diagram is most appropriate to represent various sets in the total cost? Total cost can be divided into various sectors, and that is by chart. Okay. So we are done with statistical description of data. Time to play quiz. Please open menti.com.
time to join. And start. Here is question number one. Suitable graph for representing portioning of total into subparts is called dash. You did not have to open your mouth and tell, let your hand do the work. Press the correct button. Ten seconds left. Everyone has voted, and the correct answer for this is pie chart. Kamal is in the lead, followed by Arun, Ranjini, Tapu, Deepti, Darshan. Everybody is here, Akka. Shubha, Vinay, Rishi, and Vice to me. Going ahead for question number two. For class 20 to 30, what is cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency means you are supposed to add the frequencies in that class. So it is 4 plus 6 plus 20. And the correct answer for this question is option C, 30. 4, 6 and 20, total will be 30. Next question number 
एट ओवर्स ही गिव्स अवे थ्री फाइव ट्वेल्व जीरो फोर वन थ्री सेवेन रन्स इन दिस एट ओवर्स फाइव द बैट्स रन रेट पर ओवर How did you get? First, you will add all these values: three, five, twelve, zero, four, one, three, seven. Divided by eight overs, you will get the average score at four point three seven five runs per over. So that was also for first one. Second question is there. Daily wages. So nine workers are given. Find the average wage. Sixty-two point four four. You add up all these values, divide by nine. You will get average or arithmetic mean. This was simple arithmetic mean question. Next, we will deal with the table of formulas. Summation f x divided by capital N. Now for this point number one, you calculate summation f. That means if I give you a data like this, your first step will be to calculate the total of frequencies and write down that. In the next step, do not write anything in your notes, but just take down in the calculator two four three zero into four equal to two five nine zero into twenty eight is equal to. Do it and then press G T button, which is that total. Press G T button, you will get summation f x. Once you get that number, divide by eighty four, you will get automatic mean. Correct. Do not write in your notes, but use G T button in the calculator. So answer for this question will be two nine seven two nine seven five point three five. Well, that is the mean salary or arithmetic mean. They have also asked what is total salary of eighty four employees. Total salary you have already found out. When you press G T button, what answer you got? That itself is total or grand total salary of all the employees. So that's regarding tabular distribution. Next, I told you regarding first property of arithmetic mean. Stop talking. Once I told you about first property of arithmetic mean. Ask them to stop talking. Yeah. It says summation x minus x bar is always equal to zero. If I take x values as pi, ten, and fifty, what is x bar? Add up all these three, divide by three, you will get x bar value as ten. X minus x bar, pi minus ten, ten minus ten, fifteen minus ten. Do the total of this, you will always get it as zero. Now this is first property of arithmetic mean, the most important property. Every alternate exam, they have twisted the words and asked a question from this. Next, it is regarding combined arithmetic mean. Suppose you have average data, average marks of girls of the class, average marks of boys of the class. What is the average of total of the class? That means it is combined arithmetic mean formula. You will use n one x one bar plus n two x two bar divided by n one plus n two. Problem is not every time they give you numbers. They can also give there are sixty percentage of girls, forty percentage of boys. On this time, we instead of using n, we will apply p in the formula. What will be n one plus n two? It will be p one plus p two. Sixty percent plus forty percent. So in the denominator, you will take hundred in that case. So if they give you a number, it is easy. Whenever they give you percentage, remember that denominator will be a hundred. Now suppose if I consider this as p one, this has to be taken as hundred minus p one in that case. Remember this. So let's start with the problems. Here is your first question. Thirty girls, forty-four percent. Fifty boys, forty-two percent. Find mean of all class. That means combine the mean formula. 
you have automatic pin values automatic pin at the left side and then zoom it when you zoom it you will get automatic pin total five questions so on all five you have five minutes time page number 15 Start with our central tendency. Do automatic pin. Only automatic pin. Five minutes time. Can I wait a little? Is equal to four fourteen into five nine 
6 into 19 plus 6. Can you tell me the number? 70 plus 144 plus 70 plus 144 plus x is equal to 225. x value will be 225 minus 144. So this will be 214. So your answer x value will be 11 years. With this, mathematics need is done. So for next part of the chapter, I am not going this kind of detail. We will just jot down all the formulae like this. Median, please be quick. Copy median formula. N plus 1 by 2 value in the array. What is meant by array? You need to arrange the data in the ascending order. Median is a type of partition values where other partition values are quartile, decile, and percentile. Suppose the question is not asking you median value, it is just asking you median rank. You just have to find n plus 1 by 2 the value. I reduce the temperature to the 28. Not working. Off and on. No, oh, that's the bigger one. This is answer that book chart. Ah. Hmm? Your accounts exam and law exam compulsory black pill. You are not supposed to carry any other kind of highlighter in the examination. So this is just black pill. Only in accounts for format purpose, like you want to draw the table, you can use pencil, not otherwise. For economics and maths, circling in OMRC is compulsory HB pencil, not pen pencil, HB pencil. That is compulsory. Black pencil, white pencil, and Only for writing name, it is black ball pen. Circlet is always his pencil. And yours is the last attempt of all syllables. You should all know this. Continuous data L plus N by 2 minus M into C by S. You are heading partition values, rank quartile, median, decile, percentile, formula. Photo is not okay, you need to write and practice. Usually, it does not recognize. Remember that second quartile, fifth decile, fiftieth percentile on median, all of them are same.
I know that not everyone can solve ninth question. You might have forgotten the formula that is empirical relationship formula between the So let's do six to seven to eight and nine sixth one. Then asking you to find median in this question. How do you find median? Arrange the data in ascending order four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11. Now, middle value lies between 6 and 8, which is 7. This is median value, option B. 7th part. What is first quartile? First quartile, again, you have to arrange the data in ascending order. Now, data in that case will be 12. Sorry, it starts from 10. 12, 15, 16, 18, 20, 23, and 28. How many observations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So your middle two observations lies between now in the beta because they are asking us first more time. Please stop talking. That will be n plus 1 by 4th value, which is 8. Plus 1, 9 divided by 4th value, which is 2 point, 2 fifth value, na? 2 point, 2 fifth value, which means second value plus 0 point, 2 five, or third value minus second value. So that will be 12 plus 0 point, 2 five, or 15 minus 12. What's the answer? 12 plus 0 0.25 into 3, which is 12.75. That is option C. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 Answer for eighth question, they are asking you third design. Again, you have to arrange the data in ascending order. And that will be 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, 20, 25. How many data are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They are asking you third design D3, which is 3 into N plus 1. By 10th value. So, talking on it all. Wait now. So, this will be 3 or 8 plus 1, 9 divided by 10th value. 3 into 0 0.3. 3 0.09th value now. 2.7th value. Second value plus 0 0.7 or third value minus second value. So this will be 10 plus 0 0.7 or 11 minus 10. So your final answer will be 10.7 which is option C. Option B. Yeah, option B. And the ninth question is from empirical relationship formula. Now, empirical relationship between mean, median, and mode is given by the formula. Mean minus mode is three times of mean.
be the minus median. I told you to by heart two formulae. First one, three median minus two mean is equal to four. Or second one, mean minus mode is three of mean minus median. This time we have to apply this formula. So let's go back. Mean minus mode is equal to three times of mean minus median. Question says mean and mode difference is 63. They are asking what is mean and median difference. Sorry. This is 63. They are asking what is mean and median difference. So mean and median difference will be 63 divided by 3. Answer is 21, which is option C. This comes from empirical relationship between mean, median and mode. So it's time to write empirical relationship formula in your notes. You are reading as empirical relationship between mean, median, mode. Copy the first formula and the last one inside the bracket. I have put the box correct. So copy the first line and the last one. If you are done, the question is there on the screen. Mean and median are 12 and 12.7. What is mode value? What is mode value? You will apply that last formula. Mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean. So you will get the answer at 14.1. Mode is equal to, remember that you always start from last letter of English alphabet. Mode is equal to Kathak. 3 median minus 2 mean. There is one more question on the screen. Mean mark is 55.6, median mark is 52.4. What is modern mark? Do not write the question, you just have to calculate the solution. What is the correct answer? So the solution will be 3 times median minus 2 times mean, 46. If this is clear, the third one, which is mode, is very easy comparatively. In order to teach what is the relationship between arithmetic mean, median, and mode, when to use arithmetic mean, when to use mode, I will see a video on your screen. Now, most of my students have already seen that video. Why are you playing it again? Because I want you to register in your mind when to use arithmetic mean, when to use median. So, I am playing a video for you all. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want everyone to write question number 18. Answer is 10 because you can see what is getting repeated 10 and 10. That's the only one getting repeated, so the answer is 10. Now, here the heading has geometric name. Heading geometric mean, please be quick. Square root for 13 times minus 1 into 3 pi pi 8. That's the shortcut for finding log of any number. How to find anti log? What is the shortcut for finding anti log? Divided by 3 by 8 plus 1 into equal to 14 times. My first Jora Hila, Prati, my first Jora Hila. Next is harmonic mean. Every time you see the word speed or travel in the question, you know you have to apply harmonic mean formula. It is given by n divided by summation 1 by x. We say that it is reciprocal of arithmetic mean or reciprocal of value. What is arithmetic mean? Please stop talking here. X bar is given as summation x by n. Reciprocal of arithmetic mean n divided by summation x some beta into reciprocal of arithmetic mean of reciprocal of value. What are the values? Instead of x, you need to take 1 by x. So this is the formula for harmonic mean. How to find geometric mean? Suppose three numbers are given to you in the question. You will take cube root of product of those three numbers. Suppose they tell you to find geometric mean of 1, 2, and 3. You will take cube root of 1 into 2 into 3. Suppose they give you five numbers, then you will take geometric mean as fifth root of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. How to find fifth root, cube root, etc.? Dirty power. What is that? Root 12 times minus 1. And you 
will take 8, 3, 5, 2, 1. Square root button for 12 times. So, search for square root button. Square root button. The answer for this question is 17. That's correct. So, 8, 3, 5, 2, 1. Square root button for 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, not the cardito. Okay. Minus one divided by denominator is four plus one into equal to one time, into equal to two times, into equal to three times. So like this you need to do for twelve times. I'm getting 17.0 at odd. So your final answer is 17. How to cross verify whether 17 is correct? Now, when I say 8, 3, 5, 2, 1, hold to the power 1 by 4 is 17. When you move the power to right hand side, it will become 17 to the power 4. Just check 17 into e by 2 button 4 3 times. <laughs> 8, 3, 5, 2, 1. This is moment of power. 1 by 4 reciprocal will become 4. Okay. What is also for 10 thousand? 10 thousand. Option C. 8. Cube root 15. How did I get that? Now three numbers are given. 8, 8, 24 and 40. They are asking you to find geometry mean, which means cube root of 8 into 24 into 40. I know that 24 is nothing but 8 3s are, 40 is nothing but 8 5s are. And I have 8 cube root. Now remember that 8, 8, 8, 3 times at cube root. So I can cancel and take out 8 cube root of what is left out 3 into 5, 15. Now this is option C. Answer for question number. Answer for question number. Are two or three students are asking in the class? Where do you have the foundation to put up with already? What is the answer for them? Option A, 150. Geometry mean of X is equal to 10. Geometry mean of Y is equal to 15. When they ask you to find combined geometric mean, that means you need to multiply geometric mean of X and geometric mean of Y. So final answer is equal to 150. Remember, combined geometric mean formula is multiplication of these geometric means. Answer for question 12. I am asking you to find harmonic mean. For harmonic mean, if x values are 2, 3, and 5, you need to take 1 by x. That means reciprocal of the values 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 5. Do this in a calculator. Do not write the values. Just press GT button. What is the total that you are getting here? 1.033. Okay. So what is harmonic mean formula? N divided by summation 1 by X. So 3 divided by 1.033 or you already have this in your calculator. How to find this full term? That means the same local. The shortcut is 1.033 is already there in the calculator. Do not touch that. Divided by 3, divided by equal to. This is finding shortcut from denominator to numerator. You already have denominator in your calculator after pressing GD button, correct? For this value, divide by 3, divided by equal to, you will get the answer. It is option C. Answer is 2.9, which is option C. Now, 
वन बाई टू एसी बटन दो तो, वन बाई टू वन बाई थ्री आगे वन बाई थ्री एंड वन बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू प्रेस जीटी बटन You need to take a calculator with G T button in it. If it is not there, you need to throw that calculator out. That's it. It's the same as yes. No use. I must say. So I'm going for thirteen point four two also. Thirteen also. One eighty three point three four. Now. Aeroplane flies from A to B at the rate of 500 kilometers per hour and B to A at the rate of 700 kilometers per hour. What is the average speed? Average speed is harmonic mean question. What is the formula? One divided by 500. One divided by 700. Press G T button. You will get the total. So that will go in the denominator, which is summation one by x. Numerator is two. A to B.
नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन पार्ट हार्मोनिक मीन ऑफ टू नंबर फोर ऑटोमेटिक मीन एंड जोमेट्रिक मीन आर सेटिस्फाइड बाय द इक्वेशन टू ए प्लस जी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन so the numbers are for this question we go by option b method so correct answer is option b if you take a value as 6 b value as 3 2 into 6 plus 3 square which is 12 plus 9 option c ha ah, 6 ka matrix satisfy okay okay The two numbers are at the head side there. They have given harmonic mean is equal to four. Harmonic mean value is given as four. Geometric mean square is equal to arithmetic mean into harmonic mean. Geometric mean square is arithmetic mean into harmonic mean. So. That will be equal to g square can be written as a into four, which is four a a into four. Now in this equation, I can consider two a plus g square is equal to twenty seven, which is two a plus four a is equal to twenty seven. 6a is 27. A value is 27 divided by 6. 4.5. Or clearly, or do two numbers are. I know that for any two numbers, arithmetic mean is a plus b divided by 2. So from option b, 6 plus 3 divided by 2 will be equal to 9 by 2. 4.5. Which is the same answer that I'm getting, even if I solve in this format. So option B is correct. Direct or harmonic mean? इधर लाल मारो बेड़ा अंदर direct or harmonic mean गुनो हाफ को दो harmonic mean formula one by six two divided by one by six plus one by three. You will get the value as four again. So you can do using option heading method for harmonic mean value as four. You are getting only in option B, not in anything else. Next, property based questions. So do using option heading method for this question. Next, property based questions. Sixteen part. Two variables are given by y is equal to two x minus three. If median of x is twenty, what is median of y? Median of y is two into median of x minus three, which is forty minus three, thirty-seven. Option B. C. Seventeen one. Relationship between two variables are given by two u plus b plus seven is equal to zero. Remember that whenever they give you an equation, convert this equation into a mathematic mean. Two u bar plus b bar plus seven is equal to zero. In the question they have given, a mathematic mean of u is ten. So that means two into ten plus Arithmetic mean of b, I don't know. Plus seven is equal to zero. So twenty plus seven, twenty-seven. B bar is minus twenty-seven, and this is option C. This was seventeen. Eighteen one more is b. Mode value is equal to ten. With this, central tendency comes to an end. Now I'm asking you all, how do you want me to continue from here onwards? Because today's target was actually statistics. Now, if I go on doing it in same way, like I give you the detailed notes and then we do the problems, then we do the previous year exam questions, then we do the quiz. 
ಈ ತರ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಇವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಸೊ ಈದರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಸಮ್ಮರಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ಮರಿ ನಾವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ಇರ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಕ್ವಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೀ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ 1 ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನತ್ರ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾನು ಇವಾಗಲೇ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ಮರಿ ನೋಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ದಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಮೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೀವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಡೂ ಇನ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ Remember that coefficient should always be in decimal 
values or in percentage. ICI keeps it in percentage. So you will have four number. Whereas in ICI material, it will be decimal values. So whatever answer you get, multiply it by 100. Sigma by x bar into 100. Even if I wake you up in the middle of the night today and ask you what is the formula for coefficient of variance, you should tell it. Sigma by x bar into 100. See a final or purpose for the time, entire subject of SFM. Ma'am, what is statistics? Vampus, I can see the shock. What are you, ma'am? If I give you an equation y is equal to a plus bx, how to calculate automatically y bar is equal to a plus bx bar? So, in sentence tendency, whatever equation has given, in that equation itself we put the value. It is not the case in case of dispersion. Dispersion only, range is modulus b of rx. Quartile deviation of y is modulus b into quartile deviation of x. Mean deviation of y is modulus b into mean deviation of x. So I have to change this. This is the major difference between central tendency and dispersion equation questions. Disturbing you? Everyone complete. So this was regarding dispersion. Time to do problems of dispersion from Statithor. You can take out Statithor. How many questions are there? I think there are totally 17 questions. I expect everyone to at least complete range and quartile deviation. Those two are comparatively easy. Range, quartile deviation, Anurumadi. Please open chat at all. Okay, I'll put it on screen in that case. I'm expecting you all to at least do range and fertile deviation. Raise the hand once you're done. So range is highest minus lowest nine. Fourth one. Fourth answer. How many got fourth answer? Raise the hand. How many students got fourth answer? Both the answer. Anyone got a different answer? What is the answer you got? Seventy-eight point something. You know what's the mistake? Except for the wedding mean. If you get inclusive classification, you should always convert it into exclusive. What is this? 10 to 19, 20 to 29. Inclusive. It's not exclusive convert mark for you. So you will get class intervals as 9.5 to 19.5, 19.5 to 29.5, and so on until the last one. 49.5 to 59.5. Now, 
come from this data, identify what is the lowest, identify the highest. So what have they asked in the question? They have asked coefficient of range. Coefficient of range is equal to highest minus lowest by highest plus lowest. 59.5 minus 9.5 divided by 59.5 plus 9.5, which is 15 divided by 69, which is equal to 72.46 when you multiply by 100, which is option C. Remember, exact arithmetic mean. Every single time you get inclusive classification converted into exclusive. Only in case of arithmetic mean, the value will still be the same. Fifth one. Fifth one. It is six. Option B is six. Now, range of X is equal to two. They are asking, what is range of minus three X plus 15? Range of minus three X plus 15. Can I consider this as Y? Asking range of y. What is the formula for finding equation range of y? Range of y is modulus b in low range of x. Range of x is given in the question as 2. Modulus b. Where do I get modulus b? Coefficient of x. Ignore the minus sign. So the answer will be 3 into 2, which is equal to 6. Why did I ignore the minus sign? Because I have put modulus. So answer is equal to 6. This type of question, the fifth type of question is something that's expected in your exam. Equation question last attempt will fail a lot. So 90% chance of coming in your attempt. So that was regarding range. Then I asked you to do quartile deviation. Mean deviation, Kailana. 9.1. What is the answer for ninth one? You are still doing it? How much time are you required? Three more minutes? Just quartile deviation? Three more minutes. Please be quick. Quartile deviation? Three more minutes. Answer four. Question number nine. Three zero thirty. That is correct. Beautiful question. Arithmetic mean is equal to five. Standard deviation is two point six. Median is equal to five. Quartile deviation is one point five. They are asking you what is coefficient of quartile deviation. What is the formula? Q three minus Q one divided by two. Unfortunately, they have not given Q3 and Q1 information. Oh, sorry, sorry. Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. But they have given me median information. I know that whenever there are three quartiles, which is Q1, Q2, Q3, the middle value Q2 is equal to median. And how do you find the middle value? Isn't it nothing but Q1 plus Q3 or Q3 plus Q1 divided by 2? So I have this value, median value, given in the question as 5. So cross multiply these two, Q3 plus Q1 value will be 5 into 2 is our 10. And this goes in your denominator. Now I have to find numerator Q3 minus Q1. Do I have any formula for finding? QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. And this QD value I can also find using quartile deviation is 2 divided by 3 sigma. Which is 2 divided by 3 into 2.6. Can someone help me with the value? 
2 by 3 into 2.6, 1.73, 3. So, E paint this here. This is equal to 1.733. When you cross multiply, Q3 minus Q1 is 1.733 into 2. What is the value? 3.46. Now, this 3.46 goes in your numerator. So, 3.46 divided by 10 into 100. The value will be 34.6, which is option C. QD beta value of the At least you can find eight answer. First eight, first one, eight one. 
I just want everyone to try. 1, 8, 13, 17. 1, 8, 13, 17. Question number 1, 8, 13, and 17. Answer for question one. Answer for question one. C. Variance of random variable x is 23. Variance of x is equal to 23. So standard deviation is equal to square root of 23. Then what is variance of 2x plus 10? So this is variance of x. I want variance of y. That y value we can consider as 2x plus 10. How to find this? I know that standard deviation of x is equal to modulus b. Sorry, standard deviation of y is equal to modulus b into standard deviation of x. Now, what is modulus b? 2. 2 into what is standard deviation of x? That is equal to 23 ka square root. Standard deviation of x is square root of 23. They are asking me variance. That means this is square which will be 2 square into root 23 square. This will become 4 into 23. What is the answer? 92 which is option D. Remember that the equation is the standard deviation again. This is not for variance. So, standard deviation of y is modulus b into standard deviation of x. Mistake is not done. Students will take this as variance of y is equal to modulus b into variance of x. You will get a different answer, which is not there in the option. It is wrong. Next. I asked you to do eight question. Oh, yeah. How many got answer as five? How many got answer as ten? For eight question. All right. Let me do it. What is the value of mean deviation for the following observations? 50, 60, 50, 50, 60, 60. Are Baba, you can see that number 50 and number 60 have repeated. Be it quartile deviation, mean deviation, or standard deviation. The shortcut, whenever there are just two numbers repeating n number of times, shortcut is a minus b divided by 2. So that will be 60 minus 50 divided by 2. Your answer is 10. So 10 is answer for quartile deviation, mean deviation, quartile deviation, oh, standard deviation. Divided by 2, okay, 5. 10 divided by 2, 5. And that is optioning. <laughs> Answer for 13th one. Yes. So, wait, wait, wait. Can you explain? 8th one, this is a shortcut formula here. It's, it's there in lot of small questions in ICI material. Where two numbers are repeated, like 5, 6, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, you can see that there are only two numbers. If you want to find standard deviation, mean deviation, or quartile deviation, this is the shortcut formula. Next, 13th one. Correct answer is option A, 256. What is variance of them? 
mean and coefficient of variation mean is equal to 20 coefficient of variation is equal to 80 i know that coefficient of variation is sigma by x bar into 100 so that will be 80 is equal to sigma by 20 into 100 to ones are to fives are so this will be sigma is 80 divided by 5 which is option 16 but again it was sigma value or standard deviation question is yes yes there is variance variance is equal to sigma square 16 square 256 that is option a इली तक का करेक्ट मार्ट बट इस टाइप पर मिस्टेक मार्ट बट तार स्टूडेंट्स वेरिएंस इन सिग्मा स्क्वायर मिस्टर ने वेरिएंस के लिए दारे नेक्स्ट आई आस्क यू टू डू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन वन वेरिएंस इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स वन फोर्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स एंड एक्स पार इज इक्वल टू फोर्ट what is coefficient of variance? Now, if variance is 148.6, can you tell me what is sigma value square to 148.6? The value is 12.19. So, coefficient of variance is sigma by x bar into 100, which is 12.19 divided by 40 into 100. 30.48. Which is option B. Even though these were only set of questions that I asked you to do, if in case there is any student in the class who has tried all the questions and just reading out all the options for you, check in or not whether you have got the same answer or not. I am starting from question 1. Question 1 answer is option D 92. Question 2 range answer is option D 20. Question 3 answer is 9. Question 4 answer is C. 72.46 question 5 answer is 6 mean deviation question 6 answer is 400 divided by 9 if you want the solution that is there in your ICI material and nations material I have solved it in the class question 7 again it is ICI or nations material question answer is option C 1.44 question 8 we just solved it now answer is 5 question 9 we solved it C question 10 we solved it option A Question 11 is option A. Question 12 is option D. Question 13 we solved. It is option A. Question 14 I did not solve. But this is uh, similar to one of the questions which is there in ICI material. And the answer is option B. Question 15. This is a new question. It is not there in ICI material at all. You can go home and try the 15th one. Your answer is A. A. Question 17, answer is 13.48. With this, our uh, discussion comes to an end. Shall we do uh, multimeter quiz and then go for next one or shall we directly go for next one? How many of you want quiz, multimeter quiz? Raise the hand. Very minimal students. <laughs> First one. Answer is D92. Martin, you need to Vaishnavi, stay on the screen. Okay. Right, see? This one. It's yours. I asked in the class, okay? He wants charges, it seems, but it's not working here. So you can take the charges. <laughs> Not working here. This uh, so okay. Anyways, I'm going for Mentimeter. Uh, this is the last one. I'm going to do for probability of this. 14th one now. Answer is B. 16 question in here. What last put the name? Some girl is scolding someone very loudly. 
How to find median at its middle most value in the array of the new? So, first step you need to arrange the data in ascending order. So, the answer for this question is. Arrange the data in ascending order 20, 21, 23, 25, 26. So, 26, which is the middle term, that's the answer. Congrats to my students and Bhavya gang. Please stop talking. Going ahead for second question. Change the name to the lead. Followed by Adhira, Miss Rashida, Nice to meet Harish, Lakshman, Tehal, Gaji, Abhi, Anushan, and Dhrupa. Second question. I think all seven students are given. Mean height is 165. What is value of X? Idalla under the body. 165 into 7 minus this number that you got from addition. 165 into 7 minus the number that you got from addition. One sixty five into seven minus the number that you want from adding that. Correct answer is should be forty four should be the answer. Going ahead for the question. Below are the observations. What is model value? There's no formula. Find what is getting repeated. I can see number 92, 92, 210, 89, 89, 
intersection. So that will be probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. <laughs> so that's actually one thing that I have observed. Whenever there is a group of boys studying together, etc., they have all this here, everyone in that group. That has happened almost at every single batch that I have taught. But if you have a group, wherever there is a group, everyone in the group here also. And I have also seen students. Uh, Till they are uh, last uh, year morning passion either and like there was Amit etc. Brilliant students, but they did not clear the examination. So individually possibility of not clearing this step. But whenever they study in a group, no, they have always cleared. This is uh, one observation. Next. Uh, so the equal to two power n. One point n is two. Two points, and this four, three points, and this eight, four points, and this sixteen. When we are doing card problem, remember that we only take 52 cards. But in last year's CA foundation examination, question mentioned that there are two joker cards. On that time, we will take N as 54. But for this, question should specifically mention this form. Otherwise, we only take it as 52 cards. Now, there are four suits, 13 cards in each suit. Black may be have 26 cards, red may be have 26 cards. So in black, there is spade, club, in red we have heart and diamond. How many number cards are there in total? How many number cards are there in total? 40, that is correct. Eight in the middle number 10, that is considered as number card. Like this, we have total 40 cards. Just for a moment, do not scold me. I'll show you all of this so that it registers in your mind. I'm doing probability, and in probability, I told you about cards. Keep this in mind. All the values from A's to 10, that will be known as number card, including A's. So, Others are known as space cards. King, Queen and Jack. That is 3 into 4. 12 cards are space cards. 10 into 4. These are number cards. Totally 40 number cards and 12 space cards. Two jars are doing me. Start jars are done. Six power n. This line hoping has points at two power n. Dice will be six power n. So when I say three dice, it is six cube. The most important concept: odds in favor, odds against. Remember, your total probability will be p divided by p plus q. In this, if I consider odds in favor, that will be P is to Q. Odds against the event will be Q is to P. Gajini, Gajini, yara do, eno ar do anta keli do. Anirudh. Anirudh. Nin bukka ka piece piece maan bitu, what are they lak bitu? Regis maan, what are the barata? Remember, whenever the question mentions the word eclipse, you will pick up in one question with the word eclipse in your examination. It can either come from permutation, combination, sorry, combination, or it can come from probability chapter. Whenever there is the word eclipse, you have to use the formula 1 minus opposite of that. Let's assume that you are throwing three coins at a the time. They're asking you a question. What is the probability of B 
getting at least one hit. So what will you do? One minus probability of getting all day. All day is considered very easy. It is one out of four number of cases. So one minus that will be so hit at the tail of the tail the body, tail at the tail of it. Next is combination questions. Whenever you see the words draw, connect with respect to walls and marbles, you will consider combination NCR. I will do this in tomorrow's class. Combination. <laughs> Remember, all is union and this intersection. Union and other we have to do addition. Intersection and other we have to do multiplication. And you will get one question from random number theory, which is last part of the chapter. Expectation of x is equal to summation x into p of x. Variance of x is equal to this formula. This is most important one. Expectation of ax plus b is a into expectation of x plus b and variance of ax plus b is a square into variance of x. Did you all complete? We'll play twist of probability, which is very easy. We'll do it.
make sure on the day of the examination in the morning time you are going to this table and go that let's take this log into mcd.com
हमारे कंठ से आया था प्लीज ऑल्सो डाउनलोड फॉर कॉरिलेशन रेग्रेशन Yeah. 